Oksana Bukina was arrested in 2020 during a protest in Belarus. Later, a criminal case was opened accusing her of causing civil unrest. She managed to flee to Ukraine together with her young son. From there, she moved to Poland. She knows what it is to be a refugee, so when the war in Ukraine started, she began volunteering to assist refugees with accommodation, money and food, among other things. Dozens of other volunteers came to help too. Emotionally, it's very tough to greet people and not lose composure. I mean, who are we greeting? Women with children, elderly people, many are quite sick. Many of the volunteers here fled Belarus after the harsh crackdown on protesters in 2020. Now they are helping Ukrainians under assault from Russia. The volunteer movement of Belarusians abroad is focused on a number of spheres – raising funds, collecting humanitarian aid, medications and collecting personal equipment for those Belarusians who are volunteering in Ukraine's armed forces, as well as for Ukrainian soldiers. A Belarusian youth hub in downtown Warsaw is a cultural and educational space that has become home to over two dozen various initiatives. Alexander Lapko, who is heading the hub, says his team is trying to help all refugees from Ukraine, but keeping a special eye out for Belarusians. All sorts of people come to us. Belarusians, Ukrainians, people with other citizenships. We even had Syrians and Turks. But our main focus is on helping Belarusians who are fleeing Ukraine. There are many people for whom it's the second time they've become refugees. First, they fled the Lukashenko regime to go to Ukraine. And now they're forced to leave Ukraine to come to Poland. The Belarusian Solidarity Center in Warsaw is another space where Ukrainian refugees can come and receive help. We rented a hostel specifically for Ukrainian refugees, so that we can accommodate more people. Since the start of the war, we have already found homes for over 300 refugees. The center is also providing legal services and psychological assistance for those who need them. Maxim Moskalkov, VOA News, Washington.